Hey guys, I'm Ryan Griffin. Welcome to my kitchen here in Southern California. Today, I'm gonna to take you through the process of breaking down a loin of bluefin tuna. This here has been in my fridge for about three and a half days now. And this loin has the skin on and the bloodline on still, and it's wrapped in paper and saran wrap. We're gonna unwrap it, and I'm gonna show you how I cut the bloodline out, take off the skin, and use the different parts for sushi, uh, whether you're making poke or sashimi, or just trying to get some pieces that you can cook and uh, you know have as an entree. So come along with me and let's do this. We're gonna just unwrap this guy here, get our cellophane out of the way. It's always kind of fun to unwrap a piece of fish that you haven't seen in a few days and just kind of see what kind of color and quality is going on. I use a butcher paper. Perfect. So there you can see, we've still got our, our bloodline in here along the side of the fish and we've still got our skin on. So. I like to keep everything really clean when I'm working with any type of raw fish. So uh, just always make sure you have a nice uh, damp rag or a lot of paper towels on hand so that you can do a lot of cleaning up during this process. But the first thing we'll do is just kind of carve this, uh, this bloodline out here. And I like to just start at one end of the fish or the other and just get right above it here with your knife and start making a cut down along it, kind of following that bloodline. And, and we'll just kind of work off a layer of fish here and expose that meat until we've gotten rid of that bloodline completely. And you can come back here to this piece here. You wanna get all that dark red bloodline out and away from this meat before you serve it. It is not good for human consumption. Now that we've got that part done, a lot of times you can take a piece of fish like this and uh, depending on what you want to do with it, you, you can cut this up a few different ways. But, uh, you know, a lot of people like to do steaks where you would go down the loin like this. That's a pretty common way uh, for people to, you know, want to go home and grill or sear a steak to use for dinner. Uh, if you're going to want to do poke or sashimi with it, there's a couple of pieces of this fish here that are basically full of connective tissue, muscle, tendon, things that are not going to be, uh, you know, nice when you're chewing them up in, in, in the raw form. So those pieces I put aside, we'll cook those, we'll smoke those, we'll use those for tuna burgers, we'll use those for something where we're gonna cook it all the way through. But just to get started here, I'm gonna split this down the middle and we're gonna split it right in half. Now that I've split that in half into a block, we're just gonna go along the skin here. And we'll remove that there from that side. I'll flip this piece around. We'll do the same thing here. Get rid of our skin. Wiping our board in between cuts here. Let's work with this piece here first. I'm just gonna trim off this end here. There's a little bit of bruising. I'm gonna kind of just clean that up. We'll put this piece aside. Okay, so now you've got a piece of tuna that a lot of people are, are used to seeing here. This is your pretty, you know, give to your friend in a Ziploc bag. You might get a, a piece of a loin like this. You've got it at your house. Now, what do I wanna do with this? I wanna make poke, I wanna make sashimi. We're not really too sure, but a lot of people find it hard to, you know, where do we go from here? So the, the main thing to, to consider is you can really see the pieces that are gonna be chewy, not the best texture for being raw. That's gonna be these definitive white lines down here sort of in this part of this loin. There's a lot of connective tissue in this edge and you can follow these lines down and actually see. Everything up here on this part of the fish is all wonderful to eat raw, no connective tissue, the very top being the absolute best. So I usually reserve this top portion of this loin, you know, thinking of it, a piece being cut out of it this, this way. That's like your really nice, perfect piece of sashimi. The rest is really good for poke. So I'm gonna show you this cut. Here's another good angle. You can see that line here along this edge of this filet as well. That's kind of like where you wanna start your cut is just above that. So why don't we do that? We're gonna make a cut here and we're just gonna get rid of that whole piece. And I'm just gonna let my knife kind of follow down the piece of fish. And what we're gonna end up with is a piece like this, which is completely, all of that can be turned into raw, whatever you wanna eat raw. Pokey, sashimi, hand rolls, sushi, doesn't matter. This piece right here, 
great for the barbecue. I'll split it into a couple steaks. You can smoke this, you can barbecue that. Whatever you wanna do with fish that you're gonna cook through all the way, that's a perfect piece to do with it. So, since today we're gonna to make pokey, we wanna break this down into cubes. So, getting cubes out of a loin of fish can be a little bit uh, frustrating and you know not everyone gets it the right you know the first time but once you've got this piece of fish you want to look at the grain so you can see the grain of this fish if I open it like this you can actually see it just kind of barely opening I'm going against the grain when I'm cutting the cubes of pokey and I'm just gonna start by taking about a half inch slice off this end and so you'll see what I end up with is kind of a block it's about a half an inch thick and we're gonna just take this whole piece and do that all the way down this piece like that. So we're gonna make, I don't know, probably four or five small blocks here, rectangle in shape, about a half inch thick. And all of this will make really, really nice pokey. And then this last one, we're gonna end up like that. So now we've got blocks, really great for making pokey cubes with, really easy. We'll do them one at a time. Once you've got that, you just wanna make lengthwise cuts. And I like to envision the size of the cubes of pokey that I'm gonna end up preparing. And so for me, I like them to be right about the size of a dice. Split it that way, cut it this way, and there's your perfect size pieces of pokey. So we're gonna just continue that process through the rest of this here. And we are going to make a whole bowl full of raw tuna cubes for pokey. Okay, perfect. So what you end up with now is just the, just the part of the loin that's got no connective tissue, no real fibrous muscle uh, tendons connecting anything, which basically relates into a piece that you're going to bite into and it's going to be just a beautiful piece of raw fish in your mouth that's not going to create anything that gets stuck in your teeth. Everyone's gonna love it. It's important to take your time in this process and make sure that you don't end up with pieces of tuna in your pokey recipe that are gonna be chewy or sinewy or have any type of connective tissue at all. It's, it's, it's a very displeasing taste and texture to have in your mouth. So uh, make your cubes like this. The very next step we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit of sea salt to these raw cubes. You don't need too much, just a little bit and we're gonna do a pretty liberal amount of sriracha. Just a nice coating over the top of this. Take a rubber spatula. This is also important, you wanna, you wanna really just fold the fish. You don't really wanna mix it and uh, you know, bruise it or change the, uh, you know, the shape of the cubes. You'd like everything to stay in nice, perfect cubes and the more gentle you are with it, the more that will uh, you know, be consistent throughout the recipe. So mixing the sea salt and the sriracha right onto the raw fish like this. Once I've got that incorporated, that part's done. We're gonna put this in the fridge or the freezer. If you're in a hurry and you wanna make a uh, recipe quick, go in the freezer for 10 minutes. If you're, if you're not in a big hurry, go in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. Let that sriracha and the sea salt and the tuna combine and let it get really cold. There's uh, nothing better than really ice cold pokey. We'll get this in the fridge and keep going. All right. You now that we've got our fish in the fridge and it's just about ready to be brought out, we're gonna go ahead and take some of our produce that's gonna go into this recipe. Green onions, uh, you wanna cut these really thin, as thin as you can, have a sharp knife, make, your, uh, make, make yourself take the time to cut the green onions. All the produce that you're doing for pokey, you wanna cut very small. And so take your time with your produce. Make sure it's really clean make sure it's all really fresh, and take the time to cut it really, really fine. The word pokey actually translates to cut small. So you're basically just cutting several different ingredients into small pieces and mixing them together. And that, in theory, is the exact definition of the word pokey. Okay, pokey, okay. Depends where you're from, I guess. So we've got our green onions. We'll take some cilantro. I like to pick the leaves. You don't need a lot of cilantro. You just need a nice little pile, but I don't like the stems too much going into the recipe. So I take the time to just pick through the leaves, get myself a nice little pile of leaves here. Some people really love, some people really hate. This is not a deal breaker. Poke is really totally all about what you like, what kind of greenery you like, what type of veggies you like. There's no rules when it comes to pokey. So we've got our rough chopped cilantro 
And then we're gonna do the same thing with our Thai basil, which I've already taken the time to pick some leaves off. And again, we're just gonna do a really you know, rough chop on this Thai basil. You just wanna really expose the flavor of these herbs. You don't need to really chop them up super, super fine. And then we're gonna take this cucumber. We'll pull the seeds out of this. And probably just a half of this is gonna be all we're gonna need. So take that, smack it flat. Cut that long ways and then just gonna make some small diced pieces of cucumber. Perfect. So now this has had time to set up. We've got nice ice cold. Uh, well marinated, everything's incorporated really well. You can pretty much just add everything straight into this now. I like to put all the produce ingredients off to one side of the bowl. And that way I can sort of judge my wet ingredients for the other side of the bowl. So we're gonna use sesame oil a pretty decent amount, probably three to four tablespoons. Coconut aminos. You can also use soy sauce, but I like the coconut aminos because they're a little bit sweeter and it's got a little bit thicker consistency. You can use a fair amount of that. We may add some more of this later. And then my favorite ingredient, uh, crunchy garlic, uh, spicy chili crisp. This goes by a lot of different names, but basically it's a fried garlic. It's not spicy. It's got more of like a savory, salty, sweet flavor. It makes a really nice, uh, it makes a really nice add on ingredient for a pokey recipe. And so as you can see, it's a real thick, uh, you know, kind of chunky with a lot of like, you know, it's, it's oily and chunky and crunchy. So I added about a spoonful of that in there. We're gonna do some toasted sesame seeds. And then we're gonna do a couple of big spoonfuls of Tobiko flying fish roe. So that's good like that. Take all that, same thing, rubber spatula, and you just wanna fold this together gently. Just take your time. Try not to damage or bruise any of the fish. And I'll mix it once or twice like this initially and just get everything folded in and then I can decide whether or not I wanna add anything else to it. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more sesame oil. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more coconut aminos. Get our serving dish here. This is a great appetizer for dinner parties or potlucks or add a little more of our flying fish row to the top here. That. Take a little more of our sesame seeds for some more garnish across the top. And then you can use green onions, or in this case, I'm gonna use some chives. I like the flavor of chives. They're a little bit more of a unique crunch and flavor and texture to them. So just take a little bit of chive, cut it up thin. I'm gonna just use this as a nice garnish over the top of all this. And that with some chips is how you make a nice spicy pokey out of your bluefin. Enjoy, guys.